Hey guys, welcome back to our PJ Trailer Safety Series. Today we're focusing on how to safely operate your PJ Rollster. A Rollster or a Roll Off Dump is very similar to a standard dump trailer. The primary difference here is that with a Roll Off, you can completely remove the dump bin from the trailer. This presents some additional safety challenges and concerns that aren't present when operating a standard dump. Before you elevate the dump bin, be sure that the trailer is securely attached to your tow vehicle. Our rollsters come in both gooseneck and bumper pull coupler configurations. For additional information on securely coupling your trailer to your tow vehicle, check out the links in the description. Once the trailer is securely coupled and you are in place to lower the rollster bin or deck to the ground, check your surroundings. Be sure that there is plenty of room to offload the bin and to pull the tow vehicle forward far enough to complete the action. If unloading the deck or bin on uneven surface like dirt, grass, or gravel, check to make sure that the bin will not sink into the ground or become unstable when adding a load. Use common sense to determine whether or not you'll be able to safely winch up the loaded deck or bin from the proposed drop area. Also, be sure to check that the drop area is moderately level as the bin or deck could shift or roll when loading materials and equipment. Ensure that the winch cable is securely attached to the dump bin or deck at the front attached D-ring. Check the winch owner's manual for additional information on safely operating the winch. Locate the locking handle and pin on the front driver's side of the trailer. This should always be locked and in place when in transit as it helps to secure the rollster bin or deck firmly to the trailer frame. To unlock the handle, pull the pin and turn to keep it in the unlocked position. Pull the handle toward the front of the trailer to fully disengage the locking system and return the pin to the locked position. Remove the safety chain and attach it to the locking pin to keep it either way. Use the hydraulic remote to slightly elevate the rollster frame. To help you identify when the bin or deck is at the correct angle to offload, let out about one to two feet of winch cable. The rollers on the back of the bin should be able to touch the ground. The proper offload angle is about 55 to 60 degrees. Let out additional cable if necessary. Even if your winch is equipped with the wireless remote, it's always a safe practice to have two people assist in the offloading process. Once the back rollers are touching the ground, have the tow vehicle ease forward as you slowly release the winch cable. The idea is to have the back of the rollster bin or deck at a fixed point on the ground while the rest is lowered into position. The bin or deck should not roll forward during the offloading process. Be sure to let out enough winch cable to safely remove the hook. Retract the winch and use the hydraulic remote to lower the rollster trap. To safely load a rollster bin or deck, back the trailer to line up with the front. Be sure that the hydraulic lift and winch are extended. Securely attach the winch hook. Take note of what is inside the bin or loaded on the deck. Be sure that the load does not exceed the maximum capacity for the winch or the trailer. If you are loading a bin full of loose material, be sure that the tarp is fully extended and secure as the load will shift to the back of the bin. If you are loading a deck, make sure that everything is properly tied down and secure. Check out our cargo securement video for additional information. Now that your bin or deck is connected to the winch, gradually retract the cable. As you retract the winch, lower the hydraulic system as well. Once loaded, be sure to put the locking system back in place. Push the locking lever toward the bin or deck to safely lock it. Once you've determined that the lock is secure, reinsert the safety pin into the lock system. Check the load and the tarp one final time to determine if the shift is made towing unsafe. For additional information on securing a load with the tarp, check the link in the description. For more information on PJ Trailer Safety, check out our safety video playlist. Stay tuned for more in our continuing trailer safety series, and as always, stay safe out there. Thanks guys.